an interface is like an abstract class that has all of its methods abstract and has no data items. And a class doesn't extend an interface, it implements an interface. While a class can only extend one other class, a single class may implement any number of interfaces. Here is the basic simple interface. It's laid out much like a class, but it uses the keyword interface instead. This is a list of methods, all of which are abstract. If you wish, you can declare all the methods and the interface itself as being abstract. This is optional because all the methods and the interface itself is always abstract. It will compile the same either way. An interface compiles into a class file just like a class does, and like a class, you need to compile it before you can use it. It's the job of the implementing class to provide bodies for all the methods. Now, this class implements the first interface, but it provides a body for only one of the two methods. The other method is still abstract. Therefore, because this class contains at least one abstract method, it must be declared as an abstract class. Now, here is the class that implements both of the methods of the interface. Nothing is left abstract, so this class does not have to be declared as abstract. Instances of this class can be constructed. Here are a couple of examples that show what happens. Here, an instance of conimp is created, and the getMaximum method is called. Now, that all works as we would expect, but the conimp object is also an interface1 object. Here, an instance of the class is created, and the instance is then stored in the reference to the interface. Now it can be treated just as if it were an object of the interface. Here, the method of the interface is called, but the method that's executed is the one that was implemented in the class. So this means that a class can implement as many interfaces as it wants, and it can be treated as if it were an object of any one of those interfaces. This comes in handy in all sorts of ways. Let me explain one of the ways that this can be used. This is the documentation for an interface named Mouse Listener. And these are the methods that are defined by this interface. Now, to get the mouse responses, it's necessary to have a class implement this interface and then register that object with the class that will call the appropriate methods. You can do this with any class in your program. You can implement this interface and register the object as a mouse interface object, and the methods will be called when the mouse is clicked. Because this is an interface, it doesn't matter what the class is inheriting. You can do this with any class. All you have to do is implement this interface by implementing all of these methods. You can think of an interface as sort of a contract or a promise made by a class. If an interface is implemented by a class, all the methods of that interface are included, and that's the promise. A couple of quick notes. A class can implement any number of interfaces by using the implement keyword just once and then listing all the interface names separated by commas. An interface cannot implement another interface. However, an interface can extend another interface. All that does is add the abstract methods of the super interface to the extending interface. The syntax for doing so is the same as a class extending another class.